So here's the front. The road where you come in is, you can kind of see where it says fire lane, where, where that car came up. So you come in right there, you can make this sharp turn, you go over here and you can start going down to where all the parking is, or you can go under there and do the valet and all that thing. With these huge wolves. Some pretty sweet carvings. And then there's also, behind this, there's one on each side of the building right there. Last night the moon was perfectly behind that one howling and I was trying to take a picture, but this camera sucks at light pictures. And then there's part of the water park. Yeah, the airport's like right there. So, I mean, you can see jets landing all day and stuff. It's pretty cool. There's the entrance, check-in desk. Got the water park there. Some type of show. There's a tree house. Tall, tall roof. This goes down to the trading shop, the roofs, the Starbucks. And uh, we gotta go downstairs to find the swim shop. There's a cafe. Why? And down here, thank the arcade a uh, pizza shop over there there's a fortnite llama where uh, i don't know where but there's like and we got to find the swim shop i think it's over there there's a build-a-bear shop but we're gonna find it so i guess the the cafe's closed or whatever or the, the lunch room where they serve the breakfast and all that but that's just kind of a look in there right now but downstairs where we just came from the arcade was they have a pizza shop they have a, a, a snack bar they have a swim shop they have all kinds of stuff but i was wanting to look at these the wolves up there that's pretty cool brody's checking out this stage where they do different oh come on brody let's go over here and look at the the lobby's huge the water park is over here there's an outdoor water park too so but this is some of the the indoor area that you can see from the second floor when you walk in so there's a wave pool over there all kinds of stuff over there can we go back to the room yeah you ready to go yeah. staircase is pretty cool pretty tall no, we go down this way to the elevators in the back. So we have the, uh, I guess you call it the bigger, larger gift shop. And of course, there's a Starbucks coffee shop. This is when you first walk in, there's a huge bucket that's gonna dump water on them. And this thing has like two slides. There's three slides, the orange, the green, and the yellow, and then two more on the back side. So that's a, uh, the toilet bowl slide, Lazy River, Fort McKenzie, Wave Pool. And there's some slides over here that come off this. All kinds of stuff. seen it it was it was the yellow wheel was turning and hitting that that blue thing <laughs> yeah there's a door out there to go to the outside area where they have a uh, hot tub and two, two couple of big slides. There's a kid area, but it's almost eight o'clock, so they, they're about to close up the water park for the night. But that's where the, the kid area is. And we're going up here to the Lazy River. The wave pool. Bro, 
Cody and Bryce are, whoops, I hit my arm on a pole. The lazy river over there, back side of those slides. They do have a locker area. It is um, 15, 19, or 20 bucks to bring a locker. And I think it works like your room key is in your wrist. Uh, it's inside this, so I think it works that way too. They do have a locker area too. Uh, they have cabanas you can rent. Um, they have an outdoor ropes course, all kinds of things. We're in the arcade here. What? Uh, back there somewhere. Ski ball. Great wolf lodge. It's a pretty good size arcade. Pretty cool. All kinds of chicken steak. Pretty cool. Outside. That big slide is called a tornado. You go, you start inside the building, you go down and Brody and Bryce and I rode it and they had a blast. And it had a blast. And it was pretty freaky. What'd you think of the tornado? Crazy. What? Speak up. Crazy. Crazy? Yeah. What'd you think of the tornado? It was fun, but it was fun. But what? But it was also rough. Pretty scary too, kinda, huh? Yeah. Well you go shooting up the side of the walls. Yeah, and then there's the blue one. You see the blue ones, the green ones, they all leave the building and go back into it. Pretty cool. The view from our room. There's the airport. You can see the lights. Dallas. Planes landing. Whoops. Yeah, but that's pretty cool too. Without the lights zoomed in. So our room is actually down at the end of one of the halls on the seventh floor, but you can see the halls are like massive, like very long. There's the main elevators down that way, and they are constantly busy. But at the very end, if you happen to be towards the end of the halls, there's another set of elevators right there. And it's actually hardly ever used. I don't think people realize them because they are so far down here. But here's a little view at the end of the seventh hallway. Huh. I haven't even looked at this view. The back area. There's DFW. Anyway. Yeah, these halls are forever long. And they have the magic quest stuff throughout the hallways and stuff, but I'm gonna go use these back elevators. They got luggage carts all over the place. There's a plane landing. Pools outside section. 
That's the outside section. You go in those, there's some doors right behind that column that goes into the indoor water park where it connects. Hi right, guys, so tell me what you thought about Great Wolf Lodge. Speak up. Uh, would y'all come back? Yeah, yep, loved it. Uh -huh. Sweet. All right. So we're heading out. We spent one night, two days. But how it works is you can you can't check in till three, but you can get here early, and they'll go ahead and give you wristbands. You can get a water park and wait for your room to get ready. Then the next day you got to be checked out by eleven. Um, but you just got to be out of your room by eleven. But you have access to the water park all day. So bring a cooler put stuff in your car go out there and eat lunch or eat lunch at the cafes and stuff in the water park but um so you do have the access all day and then you can swim so but uh great wolf lodge is, is a lot of fun kids really loved it i loved it um i would come back but i can tell that there's a lot of overhype about it I'm not trying to take away from it but there is um for the price of, of everything because it is, it is geared around money but but it is it is fun so uh it's definitely worth checking out